broadcasting from the basement of La Penta, it's WICR. It is Election Day 2016, and I think it's easy to go through this day with really your sole focus being on the election, who you're going to elect, the issues at hand. But I do think that something that should be with all of us on this day is being thankful for the people who give us the right to vote in. I've always believed that anything that's worth having in life is generally earned, and certainly the right to to vote has been something that people have fought and sacrificed for since the very foundation of our nation, and the people who continue to make sure that that freedom is secure is our military, and I I think on a day like this, again, it's so easy to get caught up in going to the polls and everything else, that all the other distractions, but largely take some time today and just reflect and remember and be thankful for the for the millions of people who sacrificed so that you could have the right to so effortlessly walk into a town hall or walk into a gymnasium and cast your vote without having anyone stand in your way that's something that again it, it's such a simple idea but really there's so much more complexity behind that very idea and i think it, Once we do have a new president, whatever time that will be, either later tonight or early tomorrow morning, to me, one of the biggest issues that didn't get any discussion during these these debates, which really is a shame, is what we're going to do to take better care of our veterans. And Veterans Day is coming up this Friday, so of course, it's going to be right at the forefront in the news cycle. But to me, it really is a real shame that we didn't have any discussions, any any questions asked about that. And that just really shows you the nature of this presidential cycle and this debate, that we really didn't have strong questions. It was really just going back and forth. But this is a real issue in this country, is, is the fact that we don't give our veterans the resources that they need to heal the wounds of war i mean we we know we now know more about things like ptsd and treating things like that but there's a lot of people who suffer in this country who've come back and given so much for us and we just haven't given them the resources that they need to help their families or to help themselves and that's something that drastically has to change and again I didn't hear. I don't care if you're a staunch Trump supporter or if you live and die by Hillary Clinton. Neither of them outlined a dramatic plan. Now, I will give some credit to Donald Trump because there were points where he talked about doing more on the medical forefront for soldiers. And I think that's really the plan. Why in the world should a soldier who went overseas and fought for his country not be able to choose his health care provider for the rest of his life? Why in the world would he have to shell out a dime out of his pocket when he's given more than, than the general citizen in this country has? I think it's just simple things, and there's simple solutions to these things. Everything in life has a level of complexity, but some things are easier to solve than others, and common sense is one of the things that can solve a lot of these issues. To me, and I'll, I'm going to be talking a lot more about this on Veterans Day because I do think it's an issue that we need to bring more and more into the forefront. Health care for veterans, doing more to treat the the wounds of war, doing more just to make the, the transition between military and back into civilian life easier, finding jobs for veterans. You know, I don't want to go on a political rant here, and obviously the refugee situation in this country is something that's becoming more and more of a talking point, and look... I certainly think that we need to help everyone that we can. That's what our nation was founded on, is being the last safe haven on earth where everyone could come and practice their freedom to the, their, in their own way. But to me, the fact that we have let this refugee situation override the other issues at hand, such as taking care of our veterans, I think that's a real shame because you have to always remember the people who gave you everything that you have in the first place. And our veterans are the ones who have done that for us. And again, we... We've just become so much more obsessed with other things that just don't matter as much today. And it it makes me really sad. It does break my heart at times because we have so many veterans suffering from so many things. And we're just not doing everything that we can do to help make their lives better. And to me, that's one of the things that I think I'm one of the strongest advocates for. And that I think we all need to really 
take a bigger picture and, and look at it bigger because there are veterans out there who need our help and it's up to us to go out there and help them but again when you go through this day at the beginning of this day in the middle of this day at the end of this day just take some time to remember how easily it was for you to go into somewhere to vote and just who's responsible for securing that ability for you everything that's worth having in life is earned and the united states military has earned so many of those things for us but that is going to do it everyone joe archino here i'll catch everybody the next time